is Clarissa Burt. You are in the limelight yet again this week. I have an extraordinary woman entrepreneur. And for the very first time, I think, I'm going to be doing an interview on a brand, on a product, and product, I don't want to call it a service, although it probably could be considered a service that I know really very little about. So I'm really thrilled to be able to learn more about it because there seems to be a lot of questions going on about what it is and what it's not and where it's legal and where it's not. So I'm talking to Autumn Shelton from Autumn Brands and dot com if you want to go to the website and follow along with us um so welcome to autumn shelton and the world of cannabis yes thank you for having me i'm so <laughs> thrilled i can't tell you you know when somebody somebody had said oh great well that sounds really like a great interview what do you know about this i said well i don't know a lot but that could be what the interview is about <laughs> is me asking a lot of questions so that she can answer them as to my coming but opposed to my coming to the table with all of you know all of the know-how around cannabis. I know, obviously, there's a lot of brouhaha lately, uh, lately around um, cannabis oil, CBD oil, um, and so I was on, you know, sort of on board with that three, four years ago when it first started to break um, before it went mainstream. Now it's in Target and Walmart, um, but I loved it. I thought it was awesome, but you know, they said, but yeah, but that's CBD oil and that has nothing to do with, it. and so it's very, I think that the world of, for those that don't know um, much about it, the world of cannabis is really uh, an enigma. So I'm hoping that uh, Autumn, you can shed some light for us. Sure. I'd love to. Great. So tell us a little bit more then. Tell us um, what, are the, what are the differences? I understand that you package uh, things differently. Can you send it? And I mean, is it sendable? Do people have to come to you? How does that all work? I mean, across state line, how does, how does it work? Sure, so Autumn Brands um, is essentially a California state licensed uh, cannabis cultivator. Uh, a little bit of background, we're 50% women owned. We focus on health and wellness. Uh, all, our pest, all our products are 100% pesticide free, so you know you're getting the best product you possibly can get. Uh, we have two families that own and operate this company, and we're really dedicated to really creating the highest quality we can. So as far as, as today's market for a product that is cannabis, not hemp, you can only sell it within the state that it is regulated in. Okay. So you cannot cross state lines. Okay. Whereas hemp is different, they're still trying to figure that out, it's not as regulated. Um, you can buy it on the internet. Um, a lot of it comes from other countries. So there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of unknowns with hemp. Whereas cannabis- is hemp, is hemp smokable? Hemp is smokable, but its primary use is right, the, everything. CBD, the CBD in it. Right. Whereas with cannabis, the use is really all the cannabinoids. So cannabis plant has over a hundred cannabinoids. CBD and THC, which is the, the one that actually can get you euphorically high right um those are only two of the two of the main ones there's you know hundreds of others or over 100 more right um, that give you also different benefits mm -hmm. cannabis also has terpenes terpenes are what gives it that incredible smell the unique smell that every single strain may have terpenes are also lavender citrus you know all these basil oregano, things that you smell and, and that provide you also with unique health benefits. So the cannabis plant not only has these cannabinoids, but it also has the terpenes, which both provide significant health benefits for your body. Right. Now, our, our system, you know, in school, we learned about the 11 organs, but we didn't learn about the endocannabinoid system that we all have in our bodies because they didn't figure it out until the early 1990s. Mm -hmm. And so our bodies actually have receptors to THC and to CBD. Um, and that's, and what those do is they actually regulate our body. So when something is out of balance, they actually can help balance us out in numerous different spots in our body, organs, intestines. Um, and that's why you see so many benefits with uh, anti-inflammatory, pain relief, um, you name it, seizures. Yeah. I mean, they're right. just finding more and more and more um, uh, ways that cannabis can really heal and help balance out the different parts of our body. Right. Well, I know that a lot of people, um, you know, obviously speak very highly of it and they are using it for medicinal purposes. Um, and that, uh, there have been lots, there's lots of documentation behind all of this. And so I know that to be, 
to be true from what I read um, and what the, you know, got different documentaries, different films and things that I've watched have, have told us. Um, is there a difference when you say it's top quality indoor sun grown cannabis as opposed to grown differently? Well, cannabis can be grown either outdoors in the ground or in pots. It's grown in greenhouses like we grow it, um, which is more of a hydroponic system also in pots. And then there's indoor, which is kind of in a warehouse. Okay. So all three, all three can produce great, a great product. It's really a consumer's preference to the taste and the smell and how it's produced. Mm -hmm. um, typically an indoor product um, is going to be a little denser in, in what it produces and ha maybe ha even higher THC because it's always under lights. Mm -hmm. Whereas greenhouse is kind of that perfect blend of both because you're really getting that outdoor natural sunlight, creating even a more natural product. Right. But you get it, it's better protected than being out in the elements. Right. Um, being an outdoor product. Right. And then you, okay, so there are many different, okay, are there different strains? Are there different uh, potencies behind the cannabis, in the cannabis world? There are hundreds of different strains, right. um, and every strain is unique. Every strain is going to have different terpenes in it. It's going to smell different. Um, it's going to taste different. It's going to smoke different. Um, yes, and THC levels, you, may, you can get a high CBD plant with low THC, or you can get a high THC plant with very low CBD. Um, and then the THC can range. I mean, you can get anywhere from 12% north of 30%. Um, you know, really in that kind of 18 to 22 is going to give you that kind of just mellow, more high. I think below that, you're not going to feel as much. And I think above that, you're really going to feel. So tell me so, the difference between cannabis and hash. Uh, hash I back in the day, hash was known to be like really potent. Am I right? Yes, because it's more that um, I'm not an expert on hash, but it, I believe it's more of just the residue mm -hmm. of what's left over in the um, when you uh, of the cannabis plant. So it's not the flower, it's just more of a concentrated form of it. Okay. And today you'll see multiple, you know, um, concentrated forms. You see things get turned, you know, oils and sauces and dabbles, um, and which are actually really good. And an important difference to kind of understand is that you're seeing a lot of products out there that are extracting out the CBD, right. or extracting out the THC, okay. and then you're losing all the other benefits of all the other cannabinoids and all the terpenes. So okay, we really right. want to see whole plant extraction. Awesome. Everybody, you have been listening to Autumn Shelton. We are here in the limelight. You're going to want to go and take a look at um, autumnbrands.com if you want to follow along and see all the different products and the different um, strains. And uh, we're going to come back to this in just a minute because there are lots more. There's so many more silly questions I have to ask. And anybody that knows a lot about cannabis world is probably just snickering uh, at all the silly questions I'm asking. But it's fascinating to learn, I have to say. Don't go away, everybody. We're going to be right back. Hey everybody, Clarissa here. I wanted to talk to you about audible.com and why? Well, you know, you can get countless amounts of books on audio. Just listen to them. Who has the time? I don't to stop and read all the books that I want to read, but you know, I'm always in the car. I'm always traveling either from here to from Phoenix to Las Vegas or out to San Diego, LA. I've got plenty of time in the car that I can be listening and learning or listening and enjoying at the same time. So I've decided to affiliate with Audible. It's what I love to do is listen and learn. So why don't you do the same? And They've got it in different languages. So it's not just English. I know there's Spanish and other languages as well that you can go in and pick all kinds of different titles, all kinds of different books and listen to them. And for me, I again, love learning. It's the quickest way for me. It's the easiest way for me. It's the most affordable way for me. So go ahead, you can get a free trial. I'm gonna send you to clarissaburt.com slash audible. Go there now, you will not be sorry. Welcome back everybody to In the Limelight. We are speaking today with Autumn Shelton. It is autumnbrands.com. It is the world of cannabis, something I know very little about. And those who know me well probably think I need to know a lot more about it so I could just chill out a little bit. But uh, with that having been said, I want, wanted to know more about, you said there are many different strains. Can you talk about the edibles and what goes into an edible? Is every strain good or is it really just kind of the lighter high you were talking about before? Well, edible companies are all going to be different. So you'll find some that will actually make it strain specific and what they put in there. Um, a lot of them are getting an oil um, and then adding it to, to the chocolate or, or the gummy or whatever it might be. 
Right. Um, but a lot of times it's kind of just a blend of it and you're just going to get a, get a natural high. Now edibles are still, they're, they're way better than they ever were because now it's more, it's done in a commercial kitchen and it's better regulated. You can get micro dosing. So you really know how much you're going to get in every single piece. Okay. The problem with edibles still is it takes a while to uh, take effect. And so there's oftentimes people still are like, well, maybe I should just have a little bit more and a little bit more. <laughs> and edibles, you can, you can certainly take a few too many and oh, you're just- really? Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's you're crazy. not going to overdose, but you're certainly going to zonk yourself out and kind of lose the purpose. Okay. But, yeah. you know, there's so many different ways you know, to consume, to consume cannabis, whether it's tinctures or edibles or smoking the flower or um, topicals. And topicals are a great way for medical purposes, especially if you have any type of pain or right. inflammation or any of that, and you're not going to get high from it. Unless it's a transdermal one, like a patch, then those ones could certainly get through um, into your bloodstream. But uh, majority of them, they, they just give you the benefits without the high. Wow. And I, as a mom, you know, I'm constantly picking up my almost four year olds and I'm, well, I'm pregnant right now too, but I, um, I have, uh, I get neck pain from being on a computer all day. Right. And I use a one-to-one, -one, which is, um, a ratio of THC to CBD, 150 milligrams to 150 milligrams of each. Right. Um, and a lotion. And I'll use that, um, and it just takes away the pain right away. And you the silly question number 58, does that, do you feel any alteration from that at all? Is that just for the pain, or does it also, is it mind-altering or whatever you want to call it? No, the, the lotions, the topicals no, are not. None of that. It was not strong enough to do that. Okay. No. But you definitely want the THC. The THC is what gives you the pain relief. And the blend of both. So our systems, like I said, we have receptors. It doesn't actually have a direct receptor to CBD. So you really do need that THC to provide extra benefits. Okay. And so, okay. So help me understand the regulation around cannabis because it's legal some places, it's illegal other places. You know, I, I'm really confused about, truly confused about that. So how is that playing out? Uh, yeah, I mean, cannabis, it's definitely still very complicated. You know, um, California put the regulations into place in January of 2018, uh, still went through a year of changing the regulations, and the interpretation still continues to get changed. Okay. Uh, so that becomes very frustrating. You know, local level, we're also going through that. The regulations didn't get put into place till the end of the year. Okay. So we're right. still trying to sort through all that. Um, every state is different. Some are only allowing for medical, some allow for adult use, and some have just still banned it altogether. Banned altogether. Um, so it's more and more, every, new states are coming online every single day. But the regulations in place are really important. You know, a cultivator can't just sell it to anybody. A cultivator has to sell it through to a distributor. Distributor has to lab test it. The lab test has to test for pesticides and heavy metals and numerous other things that could be harmful to you. And you right. have to pass that test in order for it to reach the retailer, which is a dispensary or a delivery service. Right. So it's really incredible um, and important uh, chain of, of uh, command that, that it has to go through to ensure that it doesn't actually fall in the hands of our, our children and it falls in only into adults and absolutely. that you're getting a natural product. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay, and so vaping. Um, I see you have your vaping cartridge, cartridges, um, which I guess is, you know, not the vaping we're talking, you know, you're hearing about in the news these days. It's healthy or vaping? Uh, yeah, vape cartridges are definitely the hot topic right now in the news. Um, right. There's a lot of issues for nicotine and for cannabis as well. Right. Uh, and the problem is it's a lot of the black market ones or companies that weren't using proper hardware. So, mm -hmm. you know, for us, we use a hardware that is, um, C cell, so there's no heavy metals cannot leach into the oil, which some companies have seen right. um, later on, which has caused some people, I think, some issues. Um, you know, as well as they've been, they, they've cut their their THC and their oils with vitamin E or different things that have caused issues. You know, ours is 100% just THC oil and natural terpenes that go into it. So ours right. don't have any of that kind of issues, but unfortunately, there are some out there that are causing this. Is it, is it, so then is your product considered organic? Well, you can't use the word organic because it's still federally illegal and they won't allow it. Even California is working on a program, but, um, question number 59, <laughs> I told you, bear with me through this yes. people because no, I honestly crazy. don't, I mean, I'm not even sure if I know what the proper questions are to ask. I'm just sort of winging this one that I really, really want to know. It's one of those kind of, it's one of those things that I keep asking other people. I keep saying, 
well, and so, well, and I hear in Arizona, is it because, you know, and there, and I never get a straight answer. There's never that one pat answer that, you know, it, it, so then it's okay here, but it's not there. And well, wait a minute. So it's okay in California, but there are people in another state that are doing a whole bunch of time in jail for, so it just is, there, it's all over the, it must be like, it feel like the wild, wild west to you. It's still in this crazy limbo and transition, and it's gonna take a number of years for us to get through it. I mean, everybody, you know, with when alcohol came out of prohibition, yeah. it was everything, every state at one time, right. whereas the states have taken upon themselves to slowly get out of prohibition. So you're just still seeing so many different issues at so many yeah. different levels and right. not everybody being on the same page. Right. So it will, it will take time, unfortunately. And uh, the people in states that don't have a legal are frustrated and have to yep. travel or move to another state in order to get their medicine that they might need. Yeah. So, what, okay. So that's a great question. Everybody, we've got, sorry, I know we have to go to break. It's just one of those things we have to do. Don't go away. We're in the limelight with Autumn Shelton. Uh, Autumn Shelton, we are going to be right back. Hi, I'm Scott Sullivan. Most of you know me as the host of Mind Your Own Business right here on inspirednewsradio.com. I hope that you know that Inspired News Radio is a 24 hour a day, seven day a week, positive talk radio station. That's what we need right now is more shows that are designed to inspire, inform, educate, and motivate the world right here on inspirednewsradio.com every week. Brand new shows and great show hosts. I'm sure that you'll find something that you love. Continue to listen and please support inspirednewsradio.com. Okay, we are back in the limelight. And here's the question for Autumn right now. So if somebody, like you said, there, before we went to uh, break, there's the frustration of not being able to get the uh, medicinal cannabis from another state, say from Arizona. I don't know if Arizona is legal or illegal. I really don't. But if they want to come in from Arizona to California and bring it back over state lines, that's illegal. Yes, you can't bring any, nothing can cross state lines. Okay. So even, if, even if Arizona, even though Nevada, even though Oregon, even though those, state, those states are legal, you cannot take California cannabis across state line and Oregon can't bring their cannabis across state line at and this time because of the federal prohibition. Once that opens up, perhaps then the states will allow for it, but that's still unknown as well. And is that, is that a crime that, that you can get time for? I don't, I don't know exactly. I don't think so anymore. I don't think cannabis at any level is going to, provide that but it's more of a federal issue so yes right. if you are you're it's it's not a state issue so it right really it really comes down to federal so let me ask you so because you know this is obviously we talk a lot about entrepreneurial things and the, the difficulties that we all uh, encounter in our businesses How, just listening to you in the last you know 15 minutes it sounds like this is a phenomenal place to be, but a really super challenging uh, place to be from an entrepreneurial uh, uh, perspective, right? Oh, I mean, I always say, I'm like, you know, being growing an agricultural product, that's tough. Growing uh, a product that's still federally illegal where most can't get banking, you're, we, we fortunately do have banking now, but most cannot. And right. um, tax, there's a tax code because it's federally legal that we can't write off normal expenses. So you can only write off your cost of goods sold. You have to be very smart with your money and prepare and, you know, hoard dollars that you have because you're going to pay a lot more in taxes than anybody else. Um, and then on top of that, you're limited to your one state. And yeah. then you create a brand and you're limited to only those retailers within that state that are licensed that are also having to go through all this regulatory process. Right, right. So there's so many different challenges in this industry that are unique to anything else. And so, yes, this is by far not for the light at heart. Absolutely. This is very difficult. Uh, this is definitely a long-term plan, not a short-term plan. It's so what very keeps you doing it? What keeps, is it, is it, is it a passion project for you? Is it because at the end of the day, there's some great money to be made? Like, what is it that keeps you, uh, that keeps you there? Just a little bit of all of that. It's, um, I'm very passionate about this plant. I, it has helped so many different people. We get endless emails from people on how it's changed their lives. Um, so be able to be a part of that is incredible right. to be a part of it, a new and emerging industry um, that's always changing as difficult as that is. It's also very exciting. Um, and it's also an opportunity to create a, a you know, a stable life for my family right. and, and doing something that I'm really proud of. Right. 
Um, and so in all of this, you obviously, you just told us you're pregnant. So congratulations on that. I don't want you Thank to think you. I didn't hear it because I did. That's awesome. When are you due? I'm due, um, in eight weeks. Okay. And so how do you, how do you keep it? You know, I would say juggle it all. There is no real balance because I don't believe in balance. I don't think that really happens unless, <laughs> unless you, you know, and you're laughing. So you may not believe in it either. Um, but how do you, do you have help? How, I mean, how, that's a lot. It's a lot to run this business. I, I can only imagine. And then have little ones running around the house and plus a newborn. It is a lot. I normally do feel quite balanced when I'm not pregnant. Being pregnant, I'm very, I'm all out of whack for sure. And having a little one this time is much harder to be pregnant, chasing after an almost four year old, um, than it was just being pregnant the first time. Right. So it is, it's hard. It's, it's stressful. It's hard to find ways to, um, really decompress when those other ways of drinking wine or having a joint or exercising, I'm not right. one of those people that can exercise, you know, during pregnancy, like right, most right, right. I'm working so much. Sure. Um, so it is hard to, to find that balance, but, mm -hmm. you know, doing things that you love and that, you know, are helping other people, you just find a way to really enjoy the whole process right. and, um, and know that it's again, a long-term plan that will, that will benefit. So is the, is your place space farm, I guess we can call it, is it open to the public? Can people come visit you or you don't encourage that? How can people find you? Um, and let's tell everybody again what your website is. Uh, our farm is not necessarily open to the public, but we do uh, do invite only on tours. So some people do get to walk through our facility. Um, we do love to share what we do and, and be an open book. Um, and our website is autumnbrands.com and you can find, um, we have a store locator on there as well. So you can find where we are in any dispensary throughout the state of California. Right. Um, and you can find our products. We have a, we sell a flower line and a, um, pre-roll line and a big cartridge as well. Well, okay then. That's just amazing stuff. I have to say. <laughs> and when I get back to Santa Barbara and I do get to California frequently, I'm going to look you up and I'm going to come check this out for myself because I'd love to see it if you'll have me. Yes, and I, I would love to see <laughs> And I promise that when I come there, I won't ask any more silly questions, but honestly, I didn't know much and now I know a lot more than I did before. Thanks for being on the, in the live light, uh, Autumn. I really enjoyed having you on. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. We'll talk to you again soon. Okay. Bye.